Hello friends. Welcome to a school server tutorial. In this sub series, we are talking about table partition. And in this second part of the video, we will create a partition function. So the previous video told you that the table partition is a three step process. First, you have to define partition function and if need you can specify the file group then you can specify the partition scheme then using the scheme the scheme will link to the partition function using the scheme you will create the table partition now let's look at the partition function here In the last video, we learned about partition. The partition will be applied based on your column in the table. Say for example, when we talk about the sales data, if that's the table based on the uh, sales year or based on the sales date, we can extract the year and based on the year, you can perform group and then you can perform the partition on that group. For example, products can be partitioned based on category. So that's one more example. If there are millions of product or trillions of product based on the product category, you can partition. So each product category you can group and then you can partition the table based on the product groups. Sales can be partitioned based on sales year. A partition function is used to know how a table can be split based on a specific column. So that's the use of a partition function. It just tells how you can group the data. So the partition function, so it will not bind to a specific table or column so partition function will be written in a generalized way so that one partition function can be used in multiple table partitioning all right that's the point here one cannot define partition function for data types in text text so these are all the some of the data types for which you cannot define a partition function. If you see, you can define partition function for integer, for date, right, or even for money. For all those data type, you can define a partition function. But these are all the list of data types for which you cannot define a partition function. Here, if you see, we have a person. Here, if you see, we have a person table. And in this example, we are going to use the business entity ID. And we will perform partition based on this specific column. The partition function below takes int as a param and if you see this is the partition function here. So the keyword here is partition create function likewise here we will append a keyword partition create partition function and this is the name of the function and that takes integer as parameter. Then as range lift for values here we are giving a list of values so these values will be used to group the data so the function name is pf be id business entity id so pf stands for partition function but you can name as you like so here we just gave pf for partition function then be id business entity id 
but uh, partition function will be more generalized and you can name it uh, in such a way here since we took the example for business entity id we abbreviated that here partition function business entity id In the below example, the values are split into four groups. Range left includes boundary value. You may wonder how it was split into four groups. We just specified three values. Right. So now let us look at the range left. Here we are using range left, right? Create partition function function name is pfbeid and data type or what it receives is integer as range left for values so that's the value here we are giving and range left for values that's what we are using and range left if you see this performs four group one is left so that includes the boundary value so this is the first value we are specifying right range left includes boundary value so this is the boundary value 6000 that means the first group here is 6000 and less than so the next group here we specified 12000 right so greater than 6000 and less than 12,000 so if you see here the group includes the boundary value similarly 12,000 to 8,000 uh, I mean 18,000 then 18,000 above so likewise here we are forming four group of data so that's range left range right moves the value moves it in the sense the boundary value moves it to the next partition and if you see the difference range right here we are using we are using the range left if we used the range right then the data would be less than 6000 and in the next group 6000 and less than 12000 that means here 6000 is included boundary value is included here boundary value is skipped and it moves to the next group so that's what we are stating range right moves the boundary value to next partition so likewise here also we are forming for group so this is group one group two group three and group four so our partition function is ready here so our so our partition function is ready here the partition function does not talk about the table so if you see here we does not talk about table or column we just define the function for a specific data type and we specified the range of value we can reuse it for many table partitions that means that this partition function can be used to any table that has the integer data type and range of value that meets this specific criteria. Now we have data range for four partition ready. Our next step will be creating the file group now we will go to a school server management studio and create this partition function now let's go to the demo so we will have a new query 
all right we will use adventure works database and here is our person table first we will take a copy of the person table person dot person we will change the database to adventure works now the table will be created and if you see here the schema is person and the person schema is containing the person table we don't want to disturb this uh, sample table so we created a copy let's uh, refresh the table and the list now will show a person table from dbo schema that's the default schema right now let's uh, select star from dbo dot or we can simply use person as well so if we don't specify any schema name the default will be taken and you can see that in the tooltip table adventure work 2012 that's the database name dbo that's the default schema name then a table person all right here let's execute and you can see there are almost 21,000 records in this specific table here here if you see we are creating the partition function this was already explained in the powerpoint slide so the partition function name is pfbid which takes an integer and here we are providing the partition range so when you give a table or when you give this table to this function it knows how to partition this table data into four groups so you already know range left and how it will perform four groups all right now we will create this partition function so command completed successfully that means we have a partition function now That's all here in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye.